Well, recently, I bought you a couple of videos to do with Aldi, where customers were taking umbrage at the fact they were having their bags searched before they left the store. There was about two or three different examples across various emails and explanations I was given that I bought to you. Well, this whole matter has made the national press now, and very importantly, there's a little bit of clarification on it. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. I'm not too bad. We're getting okay, aren't we? It's the weekend tomorrow. I hope you've got good plans. Well, thank you for the support for the channel. As always, we are going great guns. I can't believe the growth over the last couple of weeks. It's brilliant and I've got you to thank. Well, Aldi, what's going on there? I've had a couple of emails come through to me to say people have gone shopping in Aldi, including a little old lady now you've had their personal possessions turned over at the counter. Sorry, you're a shoplifter. I want to search it all, you know, accusing you of the fact without any proof. Well, there's a whistleblower uh, in Aldi which has actually come out and explained what the policy is. They want to remain nameless. Obviously, we're to get the boot, but uh, there we go. Now, there's a policy in place to search all bags. And when I say all bags... It's not personal belongings, it's the uh, Aldi carrier bags. You know when you go up and you get three or four bags out from under the counter before you put your stuff on the conveyor? It's those bags. What's actually happening, people of a shoplifting nature, what they're doing, they're actually getting these bags and sneaking extra goodies in there, hoping that it won't be noticed. They can then fill everything up uh, and then you know, pay for the goods on the conveyor belt and walk off with the extras that they've spirited away in the bags. It's on the rise, apparently, and it's costing Aldi a fair amount of money. So what they're taking the view of now is when you go to the counter, the shopping has to go on the conveyor belt, all bags have to go on the conveyor belt, and they are then searched to make sure they're empty. The sale will then proceed. These searches are carried out by employed security staff, not the actual counter staff themselves. And Aldi are now turning around and saying that if anybody refuses to comply with this policy that's been put in place, they can simply refuse to serve them. And the person will obviously take umbrage, leave, never to return to Aldi again. Additionally, these security staff are told that they can intercept people at the door if they suspect they are guilty of shoplifting in any way, shape or form. Leaves a bad taste in the mouth, personally, all this to me. It, it really does. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you've had it too, email me and we'll get it out there. I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.